All right, folks, we are back here, straight out of the cannon. It is Friday, May the 17th, 2024. It is 7.33 in the p.m. We just did the happy happies and a musical spotlight celebrating my main man, my main main man, Raphael Sadiq, one of the most talented people in the music industry. I did not know how heavy this brother was. Uh, you should go out and listen to a lot of his music. Uh, dude is really something else. Um, but there's a lot going on in the world, folks. A lot of it bad. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. There's a genocide going on in Gaza. There's genocides going on in Sudan and in Congo. Haiti's a complete mess. Politically, this country's completely screwed up. 100%. Like, uh, I mean, you guys know that's why I vote third party, personally. Um, but there are still good things going on. There are still good things going on, especially with the young people in this country. There are protest movements everywhere. There are young people who are voluntarily standing up for the rights of people who are not themselves and not like themselves. And so in this, for this segment, I want to shine a light on some good news about today's youth. This is good news. There is a light for the blind man, a sound for deaf ears, the trench is for forgotten souls that have nothing left to give. There is freedom from bondage for those who can break free. This is the gospel of Jesus and it's good news. Good, good, good news about this young woman from the city of Chicago, right across the border there in Chicago from where we are in Lake County, Indiana. A young woman named Dorothy Jean Tillman. Now, if the name Dorothy Tillman sounds familiar, it is because she is the granddaughter of the former Chicago alderwoman, Dorothy Tillman, but Dorothy Jean Tillman II is making a whole nother claim on that name for herself. She entered college at 10 years old, you guys, 10 years old, and is now at the age of 17, earning a doctorate from Arizona State University. Her participation in Arizona State's May 6th commencement was the latest step in a higher education journey that the Chicago teen started when she took her first college course at the age of 10. In between came associates, bachelors, and master's degrees. This woman's got a master, well, this girl, I don't even wanna call a woman until she's 18. This girl has a master's degree at 17 years old, and along with associates and bachelors. That is incredible. When she successfully defended her dissertation in December, she became the youngest person, age 17, to earn a doctoral degree in integrated behavioral health at Arizona State. When most students are just learning to navigate middle school, her mother was enrolling her in classes through the College of Lake County in Northern Illinois, where she majored in psychology and completed her associate degree in 2016, according to her biography. She earned a bachelor's in humanities from New York's Excelsior College in 2018. And about two years later, she earned a master's of science from Unity College in Maine before being accepted in 2021 into Arizona State's Behavioral Health Management Program. Now, obviously, as the pandemic that we talked about earlier, you know, you might want to uh, make sure you uh, download this show. You might not be able to see it again. I'm just saying. 
thanks to the pandemic, most of her class work was done remotely and online, but she did attend her Arizona State commencement in person and address the graduating class during their ceremony. Tillman told the Associated Press that she credits her grandmother and trusting in her mother's guidance for her educational pursuits and successes. She has found the time to also do dance and choreography. So this woman ain't just picking up associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees. She got a whole time to choreograph a whole uh, a, a whole uh, line dance for us, everybody. She's also the founder and chief executive of the Dorothy Genius STEAM Leadership Institute. The program includes summer camps designed to help young people in the arts and STEM projects. Good God, at 17. She is a founder and chief executive of something. A STEM program. A STEM and arts program. Wow. She says her plans include public speaking engagements and fundraising for the camp, which Tillman said she hopes to franchise one day. Tillman is motivated and has innovative ideas, said Manson, but I truly think what is inspiring is that she embodies the meaning of being a true leader. And that is true. There are a lot of young people who are uh, true leaders, especially I've noticed a lot of younger women these days. A lot of dudes are on the couch playing Xbox. And, you know, I, I think the video games have really done a lot <laughs> to distract a lot of young men from what's going on. Um, I'm not, I'm not hating. I haven't played video games in years, but I remember being 17, 18 years old, video games in my life, just like it was a lot of people. And what I realized is unless you're going to be like my nephew, who's in San Francisco, uh, in, in the tech industry, making video games, unless you're going to go out there and make video games, it doesn't really make sense to spend all your money and time putting money in other people's pockets with these video games. So I had to lay off the video games, lay off the John Madden football and teching because it wasn't making me no money and it's a very expensive hobby as well but you do have young people out there especially a lot of young women seeming like seemingly more than men more than young men who seem to be very ambitious and are able to uh, sort of translate that into a lot of important work for the world if you listen to a lot of the the most the most uh, articulate anti-war protesters, a lot of the most articulate uh, supporters of things like ending the prison industrial complex and the military industrial complex, a lot of them are women. Like seriously, a lot of them are young women. And a lot of young women are running laps around us dudes. In the in the coming weeks, we're going to talk about how just how bad things are in terms of uh, young men. But uh, big shout out to Dorothy Jean Tillman II and all the young people out there who are doing good things in the world. Let me get this phone call. Hello, caller. Hey, Scott. What's up? Straight out of the cannon. What's up? You saw what them young boys was on them couches. You was you was doing that too, right? Yes. <laughs> See, that, that, there you yes. go. Yes. When I was eighteen, you was, you was when I was eighteen, I had, yeah. I had nothing but John Madden football and Tekken on my mind. <laughs> no, you 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 were, you were so programmable, boy. You have a fit that somebody look at you talking about get off that game. Yes, right? that is absolutely no true. One. My mother would come no, down like, you've been down there for like eight hours. What is going on? <laughs> Absolutely. You you was totally consumed. Yep. Okay. 100%. And your mind was, but, but, but my son like that too because he's uh, four years older than you, but he, with that Atari and the Kindle, Sega Genesis, mm -hmm. that was the games, right? Yep. Yeah. Atari, Sega Genesis, 
uh, Nintendo, mm. all them games had y'all so consumed. Yep. But, but anyway, Scott, what, what is your profession? What is, what is your occupation? What do you do? Well, I work with the United Urban Network Incorporated. Uh, we are a resource directory. Yes. Where, where is that at? Here in the city of Gary. Okay, so okay, what, so you said you work with you work with your mom? Yeah. Okay, so I'm saying, as far as what do you what do you all do? I just told you of? we're a resource directory. We're a nonprofit you're organization, a uh, resource directory. The, okay, and your position? Oh, you just helping? What is your position there? I'm an assistant. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I I was just wondering because. I know you, you, you know, you expound. And of course, and of course, uh, and of and, course, and, you know, I, I, I am, guys, I am the, the master of, of the boards here at WLTH as well, in the evenings as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because your mom, because your, see, 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 because your mama told you, that's why she, she, she sent the, she sent you to the late Jonathan Booz. Yes. Right? Yes. She said, she said, you got all that energy, son. You want to get into politics. I'm, I'm, I'm going to send you to the right teacher. Yes. The right mentor. Booz, Booz taught me you. everything. You, Scott. Booz taught me everything I know about radio production. Um, Booz the one who taught me to run the boards. I'm running the boards here. He taught me how to run the boards. And uh, he's the one who taught me how to format a show. So, like I, always, like I told his brother, virtually every show is a tribute to uh, – to booze just by the fact that me virtually being here and having this platform and being able to create the, these sort of uh, segments and, and, and do this. So yeah, Jonathan, so, he was the one who uh, had the ideas. This beautiful guy. And you, and, and he was your great, great mentor. Yes. Okay? Yes. He had an excellent mentor. He was a stickler, mm. you know, he, he taught you royal. Well, okay? He you. didn't just have you there. He, he, Cause now you can see the fruit of your labor, okay? Mm -hmm. How well he taught you, man, and that's and that's good. Your mama, so your mother knew who to send you to. Yes. Okay. So, yes. So give her, give her, give her a lot of credit, brother. Right, and I knew. and I got to give Lloyd Fisher credit too. He was here too. Uh, I, I really Lloyd and Jonathan together. When when I first started, I was here with him, uh, with Lloyd and Jonathan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, brother Fisher. That's see, Lloyd, old school. Yes, he yeah. is. Yes, yeah, he Lloyd, is. Lloyd, old school. <laughs> yeah, he. <laughs> He evidently he he taught he taught Jonathan a lot. Yes, he did. Okay? He absolutely know did. he did. Gonna be your daddy, man. He he taught Jonathan a lot. Mm -hmm. See, Jonathan learned from them older guys, man. Like he said, used to sit on the hatchet, and he he had some great mentors, man. Jonathan was a young cat, and he absorbed that stuff like a sponge. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was made like that. He was made that man. All right, man. I just want to. Yeah. Hey, hey, you, hey, let's don't forget. Yeah, you. You you was you was you was one of them yeah. the, the, uh, uh, the ten year above too. <laughs> thank you. So you know. You it's, already know. It's, it's a good thing. All right, All right thank man. you for Take thank care. you for your call, brother. And everybody, please <laughs> stick around. I I gotta mop up when I come back before Dr. Williams comes in with the two by four and runs me out of town. So Stick around, straight out of the cannon. We'll be right back after these with the cleanup. <laughs> 